Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.4.1 Developer Beta 5. Now we sort of expected this based off the build number, so let's take a look at that. You can see the build is 15G5077A, and now that we're closer to the A, we're closer to this being a final. Now, the crazy thing is we've had five betas, and the last two or three or four at this point, there's nothing really new in it. There's no real bug fixes that we can tell at least out front meaning if I go into settings and then notifications go to FaceTime show as banners turn it back off it will crash every single time this is consistent across this particular version now on iOS 12 betas that part is fixed so they're probably just waiting until then to fix it now everything else in this I wasn't able to find anything whatsoever opening apps like the previous versions and things like that don't seem to be a problem everything's opening and scrolling is smooth and i don't really expect to see anything other than maybe minor tweaks and bug fixes that they're doing in the background to prepare for ios 12. now this particular version because we're so close to it being pretty much done i would expect it either on the 9th or the 16th at this point now in the united states the fourth is a holiday so we'll probably see ios 12 beta 3 and developer or developer beta 3 and public beta 2 tomorrow and then we'll have that for two weeks but i would expect this version to be out either on the 9th or the 16th now there's nothing else particularly new in it nothing exciting but i did run a geek bench to take a look at that and this is the scores that I got, 4,209 single core, 10,225 on multi-core. And if we compare that to previous versions, I ran it initially and got really low scores, but then I gave it a few minutes to do whatever it needed to do in the background and ran the other ones. Now, battery on this will take a few days to see how it is. Battery on the previous beta, some people say it's great, some say it's not so great. Uh, I really have found that it's not really any different than iOS 11.4. But let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What has your experience been on the battery? And then be sure to check back as soon as we have an update with iOS 12. I'll cover that as well. Let me know your experience in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description below. Thanks to Cameron and Connor for sending this one along. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.